So one of the other topics that's covered in this broad uh, thoracic malignancies conference is mesothelioma, where one of the biggest bits of news that we got this year actually came at ASCO earlier this year in a French trial that showed that adding Avastin, Bevacizumab, to standard chemo, in this case cisplatin and Olympta, Pemetrexid, seemed to improve survival in a clinically significant way. Uh, what do you think of these data? Is this changing practice for you or around you, Ben? Sure, look, I think it's an important study. The, the, the initial study that showed benefit of cisplatin pemetrexid over, pemetrex, uh, over cisplatin alone was the first phase three study that showed a survival benefit in mesothelioma. This is the second study, and, and I think the benefits are meaningful. There, there was an improvement in progression-free survival of about two months. The improvement in overall survival was a bit more than that. So I, I do think that that difference is meaningful, and I think, uh, I think it's likely um, that uh, bevacizumab in that context will get incorporated into standard practice. What do you say? I think that it is possible. What I worry is the pemetrexin and bevacizumab together is a more toxic combination, and it is not as easy and as tolerable as pemetrexid alone. Mm -hmm. um, but for those patients who can tolerate it, it is a good new treatment option for them. So it's not something you're uniformly inclined to incorporate for most or all of your patients with mesothelioma? It's such a rare disease, mm -hmm. um, so not right now. What I also worry about is a lot of the mesothelioma patients are older. Mm -hmm. um, and good so point. that same worry about um, tolerability.